authentically be who you truly are, because there are people out there that are going to want to do business with you and are going to want to be in relationship with you based on who you really are. And the people that don't want to do business with you because you're like that are not meant to be in your life anyways. And it's probably just a waste of time. Welcome to The Raquel Show. This show is for entrepreneurs who want to play bigger in business and in life. And today I have a very special guest. She's an agent, a community influencer, a community builder, and a team fast ambassador, and has a Facebook community called Growth Mastermind. Did I get that right? That's right. And she's the host of Spirit Bid Podcast. Welcome to the show, Melanie Cleone. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you for having me on. I'm really excited to be able to chat with you today. I am so excited to have this conversation with you. And did I say your last name right? Because I know that like when I first met you, you were a different last name. So I want to make sure that we pronounce it correctly on the show. (laughs) Yes, you did. Yep. Okay. So I've got a list of questions for you and we're just going to like like I said, have a casual conversation and you've been in real estate for several years. Mm -hmm. You are a team fast ambassador, a community influencer and builder. What does that all mean? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the podcast. We've been friends for so long and it's so cool to see what you're doing right now in the podcast world. Yeah. So I have a you know, um, about nine years of experience in real estate out here in the San Francisco Bay area and was licensed in 2013 and, um, you know, jumped from brokerage to brokerage and finally landed at eXp Realty in the midst of the pandemic and ended up just joining forces with Kenny Trong and team fast. And I was number 16 at the time when I joined this team, not knowing what was going to come in the future. In a short 12 months, we went from 16 agents to over 200 agents in 2021. And today in what month are we in? June of 2022, we're at over 300 agents on this team. And it's like so funny. People ask me all the time. They're like, did you know, were you in like, did you have this plan to like grow this mega team? And I say, no, you know, I I absolutely didn't. I always like to build relationships with other thought leaders and leaders in the industry and people that are, you know, big thinkers and they have a big vision for themselves and their lives. And when I met, um, you know, the founder of Fast Real Estate, Kenny, I just got into relationship really quick. And he saw that what I do is I build communities. I, you know, am a community influencer and I just love to be around other big thinkers. And so I joined his team right away and I helped probably attract about 40 people to the team myself. And I just watched this thing grow like a rocket ship. And it's been one hell of a ride. I bet. I mean, putting out those numbers and, you know, team fast, they definitely grew it fast. And so when you talk about community building and being in a community influencer, how important is building a community in your business, whether it's in real estate or any other business, how important is that? I was talking to one of my friends, Daniel Beer, at our fast forward mastermind that we had in San Diego earlier this year. And I was just thinking about this yesterday because I was rolling out some marketing content and him and I are totally aligned with the way that we think, which is the number one thing that you get out of being in business is the relationships that you build. You can be successful. You can make a shit ton of money and you can, you know, be on stage, but what are the quality of your actual relationships? What is the contribution that you're making to other people in your community and to their lives? And how are you contributing to other people around you? And that's the number one thing that I've just, it's been the heart of everything that I do. And it's personally what lights me up. 
I mean, we're both in real estate, Raquel, I've been in real estate for a long time. So have you. And I think that, you know, selling houses, it's great. You know, it's, it's awesome. But at the end of the day, it's the impact that you're making in your community for other people around you. And to be able to leave that legacy is one of my biggest accomplishments. And it's always growing. It's, it's something that's always going to build and it's never going to stop. And I think that's what I, excites me most about it. Yeah, you can definitely tell that you love building community, just even given, you know, your Facebook community, what you've done with Team Fast and the events that you have hosted. And so you said something earlier about you've switched brokerages. And for those that are listening, we have a lot of people that are in real estate that listen to this show. What are some of the key things that as you look back that you would have asked or give advice to somebody that's potentially considering switching brokerages today? That's a really good question. You know, the number one thing that I always looked for when I was interviewing different team leaders or broker owners was the level of authenticity that they had with me and how genuine they were going to be. I mean, we're all salespeople at the end of the day, right? This is what we do. And we know when we're being sold to on the other hand, right? And so I always wanted to make sure that the person that I was going to join forces with and align my business with was going to have my back. And they were going to be more like a friend to me than just a business partner. Because we all know that you can have those business partners out there that smile in your face, but at the end of the day, they don't always have your best interest at heart. And so I interviewed probably 10 different brokerages in May of 2020. And I went from traditional brokerage to to traditional brokerage. And none of it really ever felt right to me because I always felt like they were just telling me what I wanted to hear. I was just another number to them. I was going to pay, you know, a lot of fees, a lot of desk fees, franchise fees, E&O fees, and they never really actually gave me anything in return for paying all of those fees. I probably paid around four or $5,000 a year to be at some of these companies. And I was never given one lead, never given a lead, never given a real plan or a strategy. And so everything that I had built was 100% based on the relationships that I had with people in my community, with the fact that I knew how to host a kick-ass open house and make it into a party and knocking on doors and just shaking hands and holding babies. And that's the foundation of how I built my business in the beginning, because we all know that real estate brokerages make their money on charging you fees. They don't really care if once you join, you're going to, if you're going to be a top agent or if you're going to be successful or not. And so, you know, in the first four or five years of my career, I joined a couple of different brokerages and they all, you know, it's made, make it sound really good. It's all glitz and glam. And we're going to give you this, and we're going to give you a corner office. And, you know, you're going to be right in the middle of downtown and it all paints a really pretty picture. But when you get there, those people tend to disappear and nobody has your back. I know because when I got licensed, I was 21 years old, that there was almost like a closed door policy at these brokerages. It was almost like, hush, hush, you know, close the door. Don't leak out any secrets. Don't leak out any tips because they all viewed me as the new kid on the block, you know, fresh energy and the competition, right? The new wave of real estate. And so I had to figure everything out on my own from scratch. It didn't come from a real estate background and I didn't come from a real estate family like some people that are lucky because they their family was in it or they've been in it for generations. I, you know, did this all on my own from basically straight out of high school. And so when I learned that there was something like a team fast or like an EXP realty where people are actually spending hours and hours training you, hopping on Zoom calls with you, doing group coaching calls for an hour, three times a week with you, like our coaches and trainers do at EXP and not Team Fast. You know, it was mind boggling to me. And then becoming a Zillow Flex partner and actually having leads and being able to have these opportunities at my fingertips 
doing the lunch and learns, you know, doing the open house trainings, hopping on these masterminds with two, $300 million producers, just to hear them speak and to listen and take notes from their strategies and what's worked for them and what hasn't worked for them. I mean, that was the first time that when I joined, I was ever introduced to anything at such a high level and really learned how to scale my business. Because before that, it was all just kind of throw something at the wall and hopefully it sticks. I was never given, you know, that strategy on what to do. And I think that that's, that's when I learned that there is another way. There's people out there that actually want to see you grow. Of course, they're incentivized, right? Because we're all aligned through the revenue share program. But it was like, for the first time I was in this business and someone had my back, they wanted to see me do well. They would hop on a phone call with me or just, you know, do a quick zoom call with me and walk me through something and spend their time out of their day because they want to see me succeed at something I care about. And so that for me, I'd never felt that in, in nine years of being in this business. And, and that's really what made me think like, you know, I want to do this for other people because it made me feel amazing. Yeah. And you did that, right? Like earlier, you said that you were able to recruit about 40 people and there's nothing better than when you are in an organization that rewards you for growth, for helping them, you know, grow the company and you guys are aligned. So, you know, when it comes to agent attraction, and if somebody was to go into it full force, like, what do you think they would need in place to have like a successful rev share or like downline or attract the right people? I mean, honestly, it goes back to what we were already saying, which is just relationship, contributing, asking other people, how can I help you with your business and inviting them to different events and trainings and coachings that you're a part of. That's the number one thing is, you know, just be a great inviter and invite them into your ecosystem and help someone else succeed in their business. I mean, the number one thing that I ask people that want to join our company is, and this is by the way, like not an EXP pitch. I know it kind of sounds like it, but you know, the number one thing that I want to know is how can I truly help your business? Because that's something that I was never really asked. Right. And so to be able to make an impact, whether they join me or my downline or not, it doesn't matter because I'm still building that relationship, right? I still have that friendship. I still have that partnership and that can create so many opportunities, even if they're not a part of my brokerage, right? Mm -hmm. So there's so many different beautiful things that can come out of that and to help someone else in their business and to really build that community of people around you without having to get something out of it. And so that's the number one thing is you want to build a community. But at the end of the day, most of the people that want to build that community are basically trying to get customers out of that community, right? Why don't you just build a community and be a contributor and give back for absolutely no reason other than that's where your heart lies and you want to make a difference in someone else's life with no expectation. Yeah. So on the flip side, because there is this world of recruiting, whether you're in real estate, whether you're selling Monet or being part of a, a network marketing like program like Arbon, is what do you think is the biggest mistake people make when it comes to recruiting or agent attraction? That's a really good question, Raquel, because you know, I made a lot of mistakes when I first started. And I, you know, I wasn't ever like a trained recruiter or anything like that. I didn't even really understand it when I first joined. I just was doing what I do. I was selling houses. I was having a lot of fun. I was posting a lot on social media and it was like, I was just documenting my personal journey. And then people would reach out to me to say, Hey, what's going on over there? You know, what do you guys got going on? What are these trainings? What are all these like mastermind events that you're going to can you know, can I come, can I be invited? And so I just learned how to include people in my world. I would say the number one mistake that I did was, or the number one mistake that I've made is trying to make it seem like I'm inviting someone 
into the ecosystem that I'm a part of because I want to get something out of them and maybe pushing a little bit too hard and wanting to sell the idea instead of just inviting them to have their own experience. So that, that would be the number one mistake that I made. And so the flip side to that is how do you invite with no expectation? How do you contribute with no expectation? And without even mentioning the words EXP or Keller Williams or Century 21 or whatever brokerage you're part of, right? Like just have them come into your training and learn something and get something that they can implement into their business today. And if it helps them, great. And if it doesn't, and it's not for them, that's okay too. You know, I'm still going to be there for you when you need me. I'm still going to be able to give you referral opportunities, still going to give you an open house, you know, opportunity when I can't do it myself. And I'm still going to have your back because I think a lot of agents are so focused on, you know, competition and the numbers that at the end of the day, they don't realize that we're all in this together. Yeah. We're all a part of the same industry. We're all fighting the same fight. And most people got into real estate, of course, to make money. But at the end of the day, it's because somewhere deep down inside, you probably wanted to impact people and make a difference in their lives and help them. So if you've got that heart and I've got that heart, why not align together and work together to create opportunities for each other? Cause we're in this together. Yeah. Speaking of we're in this together, you talk a lot about this like shift coming up and you actually have an event coming up, uh, coming up. So what is it? When is it? And like, let's talk about the shift for a little bit. Yeah. So it is absolutely no secret that things are changing in our marketplace. Obviously the word recession is being thrown around all over the place. You can't turn on the news today without hearing that word. And most people think of the 2008 market crash when they hear the word recession, right? And so I think that we may or may not go into a re recession, but I don't believe that it is going to be because of the housing market this time around. And the market is going to continue to thrive. And I believe that homeowners are going to continue to see appreciation year over year. Real estate traditionally is the best place to invest your money with a 4% return on an annual basis. It beats out any stock. It beats out any cryptocurrency at the end of the day. And so real estate's never going to go out of style. And I believe that as real estate agents, we really need to come together in order to change the conversation and to be a voice of reason in the midst of all of this recession talk going on and in the midst of all of this chaos and educate our clients on exactly what, what does fair market value mean right now? What are the difference between home prices today and the home prices last year in 2021? And, you know, there has been a little bit of a shift and most agents don't know how to speak to that shift and don't have the best information in front of them in order to create opportunities out of that shift, right? Because if people are freaking out all over the place, agents are freaking out. Most agents are probably either going to step back from the business, go silent, you know, just kind of like hush, hush. Clients are going to ask their realtors what's going on in the market. They're going to go, well, I don't know. You know, we, you know, th things are just kind of slowing down a bit. You know, most agents will not know what to say. And most agents will not know how to guide and educate their clients and keep their businesses moving forward. And so I, again, want to help my local community out by having some amazing speakers, some broker owners, thought leaders, team leaders, and mortgage, you know, mortgage lenders up on stage to be able to give us really great information so that we can take that back to our clients and our buyers and sellers and tell them, Hey, I just attended a real estate mastermind with, you know, $500 million in the room. And here's what I got from it. And here's exactly what I'm hearing from this training that I went to so that we can actually know what we're talking about in front of the consumer. How should one 
or an agent really prepare themselves for this shift in your opinions, having been in this business for quite some time? You know, I, I love to spend some genius time a couple hours a week, just listening to different blogs, like keeping current matters is an amazing blog, talking to and interviewing different mortgage lenders and asking them what are rates doing. And at the end of the day, I mean, you can only educate yourself on the market and be able to take that information back to your clients. And so just keeping yourself educated, having that genius time. I do, you know, a couple of hours on a Friday morning and I just read all the blogs out there. JVM, which is a local mortgage broker here in Walnut Creek has an amazing blog that they release once a week on what are rates doing and just keeping up with all the changes that are happening in the market and bringing that up-to-date information back to my clients and being able to say, this is what we're saying. You know, this is not the time to be in the market. If you're an unmotivated buyer, this is not the time to be in the market. If you are, you know, just browsing, this is the time to educate yourselves, to be able to act when you see the right opportunity and to be able to take advantage of the rates that are in front of you right now instead of waiting for some market crash that may or may not happen because we don't have a crystal ball in front of us, right? So we don't really know what's going to happen. So we can only take the information in front of us and, and use it. So true. And as we think about, you know, what you have said to like help your clients, educate your clients, what are you doing specifically to position your business and like being the community builder, being the community influencer for the future? Actually, that's a really good question. Number one is I am getting in front of any business that I can and giving them a business spotlight or a community spotlight. I'm going to be doing interviews with different restaurants and local business owners out here in my Walnut Creek, Contra Costa County community. And I'm going to be giving them a platform for them to have a voice and for them to get their name out there in their community. And I'll be pushing that out on all of my social media platforms. I've also created a Facebook group. I have two. One is called the Growth Mastermind. And that's who's going to be hosting our event on June 30th. That's for real estate agents that want to contribute, grow, be in relationship with one another, network and create opportunities for each other in this business. It's brand agnostic, no matter what company you're with. Like I said, we're all in this together. So that's the mastermind group I have for um, learning and growing within the real estate community. The other one that I have is a Facebook group called We Are Walnut Creek. And I'm not completely set on that name yet. That name may change because I don't just want to highlight Walnut Creek, but it's going to be for local business owners in the community. It's not going to have anything to do with real estate. It's not going to be promoting me as an agent at all. It's just 100% going to be promoting the different local communities, the different parks, the different business owners, the pop-up shops, you know, coffee shops, bakeries, all of those places that are giving back to us every day and working hard out there to provide to us. And so giving them a voice and giving them a platform to get their name out there. The other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be start doing these open houses that are going to be more like a house party. I'm going to be inviting live musicians. I'm going to cater them. I'm going to throw a whole block party for every open house that I'm standing at. And I'm literally going to invite the entire neighborhood door knock, probably two or 300 homes a few days before and get face to face with people and have them come out and you know, know, know who I am and know that I'm there for them to help them and to help them with whatever they mean may need real estate or not. Love it all. And it's why you are the community builder. It's why you are the community influencer. And if you could go back on your journey, what advice would you give to your younger self? What advice would I give to my younger self? Or what advice would you give to the agents that are looking to grow and looking to scale that are listening and right now? 
you know, I love that question because, and this is something that my, one of my best friends and mentors, Elias Estudo, he's the director of sales and coaching for fast real estate. He like called me out on this in the beginning when I first met him two years ago. But I think when I first started, I didn't know anything about real estate. And I always had this feeling that I needed to act like I'm older than I am or else nobody would want to do business with me. I did get licensed when I was 21. I had a baby face and I was wearing these really elegant dresses and pearls and, you know, thought that I had to talk a certain way or be a certain way. And I was always really quiet and shy and not very talkative because I was told that, you know, I'm supposed to kind of be ladylike and not have a voice and be quiet. And that's, if you know me, that's not me at all. I mean, I'm like the opposite of that. Right. And I, after, you know, meeting Elias, he was like, girl, blast the gangster rap, like take the pearls off. If that's not who you are, you know, like shine, like who you're meant to be, who you are, cuss up a storm, you know, have a voice and authentically be who you truly are, because there are people out there that are going to want to do business with you and are going to want to be in relationship with you based on who you really are. And then at that point, you'll know those are your people, right? That's your trap. And the people that don't want to do business with you because you're like that are not meant to be in your life anyways. And it's probably just a waste of time. So good. So good. <laughs> you couldn't have said it any better. And so what are you most excited about that you're working on right now? Well, you're coming out on the 30th, right? <laughs> of course. They yes. are to always support you. Yes. I'm super excited to have you out, Raquel. Like you're, you've been my coach for basically the last two years. And the second I met you, I was like, we're going to be friends. And you're coming out to the growth mastermind market shift. And we're doing that on June 30th. I'm going to have Jeremy Larson out. He's one of the top team leaders in Santa Cruz, top 1%. We're going to have Patty Goodspeed. She is a mortgage advisor for a guaranteed rate mortgage. She's the top 100 women loan originators in the nation on stage. And she's going to be talking to us about the market and, you know, what this change in interest rates means for our buyers and our sellers. And it's going to be a really fun event. I've got some exciting things planned and they're, you know, top secret. So I'm not, not giving anything away on this podcast, but um, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be one of the biggest events that I've ever thrown. We already have like, I think 50 or 60 people that are RSVP'd and people are still signing up every single day. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So I love it. And if you have not been to one of Melody's events and you were in Northern California or anywhere that you could fly into Northern California, you definitely want to attend and we'll, uh, we'll put it in the show notes as well. And there's one thing, but before I ask you the question that I ask all of our guests, where can people connect with you? Where's the best place that they can connect with Melody? Yeah, sure. My Instagram handle is at Melody Cleone, K-L-E-O-N-I. And I have a YouTube channel, Melody Cleone, same thing. And uh, if you want to be a part of the growth mastermind, you can just look us up on Facebook in the Facebook group section under growth mastermind and request to be added to the group. We're only allowing real estate agents and mortgage officers to be a part of the group right now. And we, I think are at 130 members so far. So would love to have you guys join to contribute. So good. And we'll put those all in the show notes so that you guys can connect with Melody and her groups. And there's always one question as we wrap up uh, that I ask all the guests is what does Melody do to play bigger in business and in life? That's an easy one for me because I've always been about this since the day I got into real estate and I feel like I'm never going to stop. It's a never ending journey. If you don't have a coach, hire a coach push you outside of your comfort zone to grow and to give you a fresh new perspective on your life, your relationships, your business, 
and everything that you've got going on in your life. Because I, you know, sometimes will pin, push myself into a corner and think that I've got all of these limitations around me. And there's so many things that I can't do because I'm young, because I'm a woman, because I, you know, have to be a certain way. And if it wasn't for my coaches and my mentors around me to show me a new perspective and to just change the story in my mind, then I probably wouldn't have created all of these groups and created all of these events that I have. So get someone to push you outside of your comfort zone and hold you accountable to do what you say you're going to do. And to be able to push you a little bit every time you, you reach that new level, you know, don't get complacent. Don't sleep on it. Like, okay, I got to that level. All right. What's next. You know, I'm always looking forward to what's next. What's my new level. So so good. So good. And that's why we love playing bigger and everyone that's listening to, to this show always love hearing from people like you. And I couldn't agree with you more is if quicker and faster you invest in yourself to have the great people that you align yourself with continues to help you grow. Thank you so much, Melody, for being on our show today. I appreciate you. I'm excited for what's next and excited to keep playing bigger with you. Thanks, Raquel. Love you.